that's not why we're here. We're here to primarily finish up the RX-8 build because it's been far too long. We put it on the back burner for a little more than we had hoped. So if you haven't been following me on the Instagram, I've been catching up on this thing called Art Trober, which one of my Instagram influences, uh, Art Germ, who's worked for Marvel, he's worked for DC. He just has amazing art. But I was inspired to follow his prompt list for October, which in previous years it was called Inktober. The majority of the characters on this list I actually know, so it'd be fun to just draw them out. Now I've postponed the contest, the RSA giveaway, for this month. So it'll be October 31st, Halloween is when we cap it and we'll go from there. The week after that we'll just have a meeting with the team and then figure out who the real winner is. But there's still quite a list of things to do on the RSA before I hand it off to the next owner. Um, and these are things that I, I just really want to make sure it's roadworthy, safe, and uh, I'm not held liable. Anyways, we're here to finish up the RX-8, so let's bring it in here and continue with our day. I actually forgot we had Lambo doors on this thing. Yay! Okay, let us cross our fingers, the starts. I mean, it should. Healthy engine, healthy battery, everything. You're a liar. <gasps> Lying. Now I'm the only one that actually like maintains this but now I have to start it and I don't have my external battery here either So I'm gonna have to just bring the XB around. Fuck. That's lame Yeah, okay That's hurting it This is what happens when you have too many projects and you have to neglect some. Plus, the people here at this garage don't want to take care of cars that aren't theirs. But, we have what we need. It still rubs. Okay. Let me just show you guys what I mean. Turn the wheels all the way to the left. Look back here. Right now it's not touching, but this is where it's hitting. So I've already drawn the mark where I'm gonna cut it a little more. In all honesty, when you're running aggressive wheels like this, also have one inch spacers, don't forget. I mean, this fitment's pretty aggressive, so you're bound to hit. That's what we're gonna be addressing today, making sure that it is safe, proper, and you don't get any rubbing issues for the next owner. Of course, we still gotta seal it. I'm gonna go quickly grab the rest of the kit at the other shop. Uh, it's dried, but again, if you guys watched the previous video, you'll have seen that we didn't do the best job on it. But there are ways for us to get it fairly glossy enough. But if I were to do it again, which I probably don't have time for this giveaway, um, I would have done it a lot more proper, bigger space, um, and a lot more practice. For the first time, it was okay. I honestly have to put this here as a reminder. Beauty. Fuck. <sighs> Mother. Yes. All right, guys, so that we're not here aimlessly wasting our hours, I have a list of exactly what needs to be done. And, that, and so that we can just go home and eat. So, paint the bolts black. Oh, man, that's a detail that only I would do. I mean, I guess it could have gotten black M5 bolts, but. I wasn't thinking. Lift the front. That's why we have it on the two posts. We have to lift the front, take the wheels off, cut the metal, which I showed you earlier. Fill cuts, grind down. So yes, we still have to do the final seal and uh, just really fix it, clean it up. And then last thing on the list is install wide body, which I still gotta go pick up, but it's 
pretty much it. Just clean the body, clean all our cuts, put all of the trim back together, and then really clean it up before we reinstall the wide body kit. Let's go. between a finished polished piece and my new paint job. The one on the top here is a piece that my friend Eddie actually went through the effort of refinishing and polishing. So basically what he did is he went through all of the grits of sandpaper and then after wet sanding it down, uh, polished it and now it actually doesn't look half bad. Maybe if I angle it, you guys can kind of tell with the hexagon light reflection on the roof. That is a big difference. 30 minutes to an hour's worth of wet sanding and polishing. On the car, it actually looks pretty decent, man. Now we still have to figure out this opening part, but I have an idea for it. So we're just gonna use this leftover chicken wire front grill for the front bumper of the rocket buddy. I might just have to respray paint it black, that's all. Oh, that looks good. Damn. Good job, bro. Good job. Get on camera, man. It actually reflects a lot more. Look at that. That's straight. Yeah. But since there's stuff that's still drying, then we well, didn't do down here. So We've we only been at it for like 35, 40 minutes. Yeah. I didn't touch down here. So, I mean, you yeah. did a bad job painting. Damn. Wow. Well, guys, it's starting to come together. Look at this. Now that it's actually all one color. And we didn't do too bad on the paint matching either. Get down! Got Ken helping out now. Yeah. All hands on deck, man. This is a lot of work. Thanks, dude. No So unpolished, at this stage it looks super hazy, like aged paint, but with polish, brings out the yellow again. And also, good job, Ed. That side actually looks pretty decent. Yeah, I don't know why, but there's like two cops out there uh, rummaging through that G37. The kid's still sitting in the car, but I don't know what he did. Maybe he ran away from them and then he tried to hide, like right behind our building in this alleyway. Here, I kinda wanna peek. Interesting. So it's the next day. I tried to make these little tab things on the back here. It's a little ugly, so I'm not gonna show you up close. But basically what I'm gonna do is shape out this triangle area, like that. And then take that shape, transfer it onto this chicken wire grill, and then 
We're gonna cut that out. We'll kind of just like fold it over the edges so that it would sit perfectly right in this section. I hope, I hope. I mean, it's a non-functional vent, but at least the doors go up. <laughs> and again, I might actually respray paint this. Alright guys, fitment check. I did lift it up like 0.5 of an inch in the front, just so the front bumper is a little safer, but this is okay. Yeah. Now the entire kit is on, rear panels, the door part, and with the door up, you can see how good of a job we did cutting this fender fin. It's close. Damn. Plus I'm super impressed with how we made this kit fit. Even though it wasn't even meant for this generation RX-8, it looks clean. Mm. From the front too. This is our custom job, remember guys. Plus big shout outs to Eddie for helping me cut and polish this thing. The real test is to bring it outside to see what it looks like under the sun. But honestly, even in this lighting, we did pretty good. Damn. She's a little dirty, so I'm gonna back her up and we'll give her a quick wash, take our beauty shots, and then we'll finish up this video. Part two. Well, it's on the other side, really. Damn, still. Okay. Oh. Damn, I aged. <laughs> this is what I look like when I'm old. Same face, <laughs> just gray hair. Asian hair tutorial 101. <laughs> Done. Last, last. <laughs> Feel like borderless. Concept that we envisioned almost a year ago. Pretty damn close, other than the veil side front bumper, we're rocking the R Magic front bumper along the same line, so it's, it's really cool. What's unfortunate for me, happy for you, one of you guys actually has the chance, the opportunity to win this bad boy, this super one of one custom unicorn of an RX 8, which is actually fairly show worthy too. Honestly, if we still kept it a little longer and shows were still going on in Canada, I probably would have brought it to the shows as one of my own cars. If I were to own an RX-8, this is exactly how I would have built it. Um, I mean, technically this is ours and we did build it, but 
we're gonna be letting it go to one of you guys. The rules are simple. For every $5 you guys spend on our website, it gets you a chance to win this thing. So like one key take gets you two chances, a hoodie gets you multiple, super easy. Kinda sad, but at the same time, it gets to go to one of you guys. So much custom work went into this, but yeah. I'm being super transparent with this build, haven't hidden anything so you guys know exactly what you're getting. Other than that, guys, I'm gonna just end the video. Appreciate you for watching. As always, head over to our website, go grab some merch, go grab your cake. May the odds be ever in your favor, and we'll see you guys on the next vlog. Peace! So I've been trying to do more digital practice with my tablet. It's this 16 inch Huion tablet, but it broke this morning. So I'm here at this guy's house. Yeah, yeah, I'm one. just gonna grab it. I'll give you the cash and everything. Guys, this is our new one. Whoa! This is like practically brand new. Let's test her out.